So today we're going to be going over the top five best theme teams right now, Madden 24. Now, this is going to be strictly NFL teams. I'm not going to be doing like promo theme teams just because obviously the promo theme teams are going to be way better than the NFL teams. I mean, that's just what it is. They go through all 32 NFL teams to make this list. So this was, there was some hard choice to make because some teams were like really good. And then, you know, some teams were like borderline almost in the top five. So it was a tough list, but I feel like the five we came up with, these are the top five best theme teams. So starting this list off at number five, we got the Green Bay Packers. Out of everybody on this top five list, the Packers probably have the weakest offense out of everybody, which is why they're number five, but they got a pretty good offense. Now, I tried not to take offensive line into factor with the theme team just because pretty much almost every nfl team is not going to have a like god like offensive line that's just literally how it is so i try to really not to take that into factor i try to you know quarterback running back receivers tight ends you know the corner safeties your d linemen and all that stuff right so they got a pretty good tight end in uh jimmy graham he's really good he's actually you know with the 50 out of 50 i think he's like 94 speed and he's big as hell so he's really good the packers receiving core isn't really too bad you got romeo dobbs who's their best receiver he's really good you got marquez uh vadless scandlin he's a taller receiver and i think he's like 95 speed david moore uh he's a little sh i think he's a little shorter receiver but he's also like 95 speed so it's, it's the weakest receiver core in here but it's still a pretty solid receiving core and then you got, you know, Jordan Love, a quarterback, who's one of the better quarterbacks in the game. He gets, like, you know, all the abilities and stuff. Uh, I think you can literally rock high route master. Uh, Sefi lead on him at the same time. So, I mean, that's a dub. And running back, they got Aaron Jones. I think Aaron Jones is, like, 94 speed with the Dean team. So, it's really, it's a pretty solid offense. And you're getting a quarterback that gets Sefi lead and high route master at the same time. So, that's not bad. The Packers defense, it, it's really good. They got the brand new Darnell Savage. You got Julius Peppers. Peppers, you can play anywhere. If you want to play him in the box, corner, safety, he can pretty much play almost anywhere on the field. Corners, you got Jari Alexander, Russell Douglas, and uh, Keyshawn Nixon. So, Pretty good uh, corners. Now, most of the teams on here, there's not a crazy amount of corners with deep out zone chaos. There's one team that does, and there's a reason why they're uh, they're going to be number one. But a lot of these NFL team uh, theme teams, a lot of them is just their man coverage corners. They get a lot of man chaos, which isn't bad, you know, if you run like a man coverage scheme. But zone chaos are just a lot more better right now. So, uh, I, like i said there's only like one team that really does and uh, you probably know who it is but the like, packers got a really nice secondary and then their defensive line is really good you got david Batarki, he gets the one ap inside stuff the brand new reggie white with the zero uh ap unstoppable force x factor which that thing is nasty uh clay matthews is actually i looked at him he's not he's not a bad pass rusher to use Rashawn gary's pretty solid so uh, you know, they got the brand new wild man AK uh, for, for the user. The Packers defense is really good, which is kind of a big reason why they got the number five. I mean, the, their D-line is just nasty. They got a nice secondary, and the offense is really solid. So the Green Bay Packers are for sure, I would say, a top five theme team in the game. One more guy I almost forgot. They also do get Zadarius Smith, which that, that card is, you know, really nasty. So the defensive line is it's amazing for number four we got the kansas city chiefs the chief a lot of you're gonna see like a, a decent amount of playoff teams in here just because i mean they've gotten a lot of new cars and stuff but uh the chiefs are pretty good you got tony gonzalez tight end that is definitely a very good tight end to have uh receivers you got tyree kill marcus van les scandlin and rasheed rice so it's definitely a better receiving core than the packers really good receiving core uh running backs you got the pay and hillis that card is disgusting and isaiah pacheco so they, they got options at running back. Now, quarterback is probably their weakest part. Uh, you got to choose between Mo Montana and Patrick Mahomes. Uh, you know, that's really kind of up to you. I'd probably go with a different quarterback, to be honest. But overall, this is a really good offense for the Chiefs. And they, they even actually have a solid O-line. They got a couple pieces on there that aren't too bad. So now for the Chiefs defense, it's also pretty solid. You got this Mike, Ever Mike Edwards card. He's a 91, but he's actually got some pretty good stats. He's really solid. Uh, obviously everybody gets Eric Berry, but they got this Isaiah Pacheco uh, safety card, which is actually really good. Corners, they got Marcus Peters, Ty Law, Steven Nelson. They even got the the free Darrell Rivas card you could use, Chavarius Ward. So they, they got a lot of different corners, but for the starters, I mean, Peters, Steven Nelson, once again, it's man KO corners. But to be fair, these guys do actually get man KOs discounted. So if you legit wanted to run a man scheme, you actually could with some of these theme teams. The uh, Chiefs D-line is, I mean, it's really good, man. You got Terrell Suggs, Derek Thomas. I mean, those guys are just beasts. Jared Allen, you can really put them wherever you want. 
uh, the, the brand new Chris Jones for the season. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this D-line. I mean, the, the, it's nasty. Coming into number three, man, I got the 49ers. The 49ers, man. This team, uh, I mean, just look at these receivers, man. I mean, they, this, this thing's nasty. At tight end, they got Vernon Davis, who is probably the best tight end in the game right now, I would say. So, throw that on with an extra two-plus speed. I mean, that's just out of control, man. And then, you know, you got Dion at receiver, Randy Moss. They're going to get Jerry Rice. Obviously, you can't get him just yet, but till then, you can use these Debo Samuel so the receiving core is insane this Christian McCaffrey card is really good he was like a mill for a while but now he's got a series reduction so his prices probably came down a whole lot now quarterbacks they that's where they kind of it's probably their weak part of offense you got Montana or Purdy I mean because the, the, the Montana card is just it's, it's all right but it's you know it's not all that everything else besides this quarterback I mean I mean Oof, it's, it's a nasty offense the 49ers defense it also is another defense where the corners are kind of more of some man ko corners a, a lot of the teams on here are just kind of like that man the safeties you got jimmy ward and martin hanks which they're, they're the jimmy ward is actually pretty solid martin hanks is kind of eh but i mean he, he's definitely usable back there niners corners i mean they're for sure good though i mean you got randy moss Deion sanders richard sherman i mean that's really good then you got Javarius ward which if you really want to you know depending on like ap i'm not sure uh you know what him and, and Martin hanks get uh compare like comparable i don't know like which abilities you rather use on them but if you really wanted to you could throw to various ward at safety if you really wanted to switch out Martin hanks i mean the d-line for the niners i mean it is i mean you got the, the eric armstead he's really good the deforest buckner very good the nigga bosa arguably one of the best defensive linemen in the game right now and you also got fred warner which with the dean team he's like 94 speed so he's still really good so i mean the the niners team it, it's 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 you know as much as i don't like the niners it's pretty goddamn good coming in at number two we got the baltimore ravens now obviously they're gonna get brand new cards and all that stuff this week so they might you know end up going to number one but for right now we got them at number two uh they got dallas clark and shannon sharp inside them dallas clark by the way is kind of what he i have vernon davis has the best tight end just because i really like his juke a lot but dallas clark is basically on the same level as vernon davis so they have possibly one of the best tight ends in the game they got Zay Flowers, Deion Sanders, and Odell Beckham Jr. This is the best receiving core in the game for an NFL theme team to use. Running back, they got Ricky Williams. He's really good. You got Lamar Jackson or Joe Flacco to use the quarterbacks. And they're both pretty good quarterbacks, so you could really use whoever. So there's really no weak spot at all on this uh you know ravens offense it's the best of offense to probably use for an nfl theme team ravens defense is another defense where the corners are man coverage corners it's just it's kind of crazy now that i look at it all of the teams were except for like one team for safeties you got uh kyle hamilton who's absolutely god like you got ed reed which i mean you're probably gonna have to switch him out i'm not gonna lie but you got marcus peter Deion sanders and devin hester corner all those guys are great it's funny you see like a lot of these same faces on a lot of these teams on this list but i mean that's kind of i guess the reason why they're in the top five ravens for sure got linebackers you can use you got ray lewis roquan smith two i mean ray lewis has a whole other card that you don't even have to wait to upgrade his card he's got his uh you know cover athlete card the ravens got really good d linemen you got trail Suggs, zedaria smith uh, the AK card, Mata Beast, who starts on, I think, with uh, Unstoppable Force X Factor, if I'm not mistaken. And they also got this Jadavion Clowney. So the D line is great. The secondary is good. The linebackers are great. Ravens are great. Now, before we get to the number one, I would just thought I'd throw a couple honorable mention theme teams in there because there's actually, there were, like I said, there was a, there was a couple solid theme teams that are really good. I thought I'd throw the Texans in there. Uh, they actually got a pretty good offense. They got Dalton Schultz, really good tight end. CJ Stroud was possibly the best quarterback in the game right now and the receiving course is pretty solid you got nico collins really good tank dell solid deandre hopkins not so good which you know kind of hurt their ranking but they got the uh deontay foreman a running back so they don't really have much of a running back receiving course missing the guy but you know you got cj stroud Dalton schultz and a couple good receivers the texans have a really good defense though corners you got steven nelson tank dell Derek stingley really good Safeties, you got Jimmy Ward and Jalen Petrie. Yeah, I know you guys should see that card in like everybody's top three. And then they got a really good D-line. You got uh, Christian Harris, Jadavian Clowney, Will Anderson, Vince Will Fork. Obviously, J.J. Watt gets all team counts. But you also got Jonathan Greenland, Mario Williams. I mean, they got so many different guys at D-line that you there's a lot of different options you could use. So the Texas defense is very good. One more honorable mention I want to put here is the Falcons. Now, I'm not going to lie. It was really hard for me not to put the Falcons on here, man. Now, you're looking at this offense. You're probably thinking, how did they not make the list? Their defense for me is what kind of uh, didn't make them make the list we'll talk about that but i mean this offense is insane man you got michael vick quarterback he's really good tony gonzalez is a beast calvin ridley 
Devin Hester and Deion Sanders are the receivers. That is just insane. They have some different options at running back. They got, uh, there's the Michael Vick running back card, which I'm not a biggest fan of, but they got Cordell Patterson, who's actually really good. So like I said, man, I really wanted to put the Falcons on this list because not only are the receivers godlike, but they actually have two corners. They get deep out zone kill. Uh, it is Devin Hester and Asante Samuel. Now, the reason why I didn't is because honestly, man, their defensive line is, it's terrible. Like it's, it's, oh, there is really no one that's really that good for the defense of line now i know you can use cheats for it, but the way i wanted to make the list was just have the teams on there that pretty much just had everything basically from top to bottom though weak points and for the falcons their weak point is their defensive line it is absolutely terrible but i mean the secondary is the same you got jesse bates ryan neal like i said devin hester and Asante, they both get deep out zone chaos so if you really want to you can throw you know Dion in at the slot so it really hurt not to put them on here man but i mean realistically though if you want to just make this theme team and then use the cheats on the d-line then this possibly is the number one theme team in the game honestly best theme team in the game in my opinion is the philadelphia eagles so the eagles um they just they have everything they have everything and they have two corners to get deep out zone kale that they have everything they actually even have a solid offensive line i'd say the only thing they really don't have is pretty much a tight end but i mean you know I mean, you can use jordan reed for that got really good receivers man you got julio jones aj brown now honestly i would recommend Devontae smith as your third receiver i think he's better than matt Collins and chris carter but if you don't want to there is matt Collins and chris carter who are also pretty solid quarterback you got a lot of different options man you got michael vick you got refrigerator perry and jalen hurst but refrigerator perry is still one of the best quarterbacks in the game so that's a big thing he's one of the best quarterbacks in the game running backs if you want to use the you know the halfback vick you can but miles sanders is actually a pretty good option for the eagles defense man i mean they like i said they pretty much have everything you got two deep out zone corners to slay and asante samuel so that's great right there so then in the slide you can really throw whoever you want if you want to throw steven elston with a zero ap pick artist or russell Douglas for the hike you can do that safeties you got brian dawkins who gets deep out zone kale there is jordan poyer but also cj garner johnson so you can pretty much have zone kales on this entire defense they got good safeties they got corners and the d-line pick who you want man you got a son reddick nolan smith the brand new reggie white with zero ap unstoppable force you got javon curse jalen carter there is just so many options and don't forget oh for user you have harold carmichael so you can literally this defense has anything you want even if you're not a zone guy and you're like well i like using man kills that's fine you can even do that with this defense russell douglas and steven nelson get man kills hell even troy vincent does so if you want to go to man kale route you can even do that with this team so that's just how much diversity this defense has yes i'm throwing a kicker in here just because the eagles theme team actually has the best kicker in the game gary anderson he has the most kick power in the game i thought i thought it in there too the eagles theme team has everything they're the best theme team in the game. I'm not even being biased. You guys let me know what you think about my top five theme teams lift, uh, list. If you guys agree with it, if you thought some teams were left out or some teams shouldn't be on here, let me know down in the comments, man. But that's pretty much going to do it for this one, boys. Peace out.